All right, guys, I've got my cheat sheet today because I don't want to leave out anything important because this is some information that new beekeepers and, well, all of us need to know. I'm going to entitle this video, What Does This Really Hot Weather Do to Your Bees? Well, number one, you start seeing the bearding outside. They're not bearding too bad today. But when they beard, they're cooling the hive. When they're cooling the hive, there's nobody managing the small hive beetles. Two, bees need water. You've got to have water out for your bees. You've got to have a water source somewhere. A bee weighs 0 .00025 of a pound. So looking at a three pound package, 10,000 bees weighs 2.5 pounds minus the packaging and the sugar. So a good strong colony, 50,000 bees weighs 12.5 pounds just bees. That's 1.5 gallons of water a day on a normal day, not a hot day like some of these folks are having all over the country, 110, 115 degrees. Bees have got to have water. I put out, you put out a barrel somewhere with some corks, some rocks, so they don't drown in it. A dish somewhere. Put water in your, your inside feeders. Now this one's got a feeder on it. Don't think any of the rest of them have feeders on them. But if you've got a hive top feeders, Boardman feeders, you put them in the put them in that. Ventilation is key. These purple boxes, they have a vent hole in the back. All of them have vent holes in them. Some of the feeders have vent holes in them. Some of the supers have vent holes in the side. You put screen door screen over it. Small hive beetles can't get in it. Robbers can't get in. They'll go check it out instead of checking the front door out. Your bees may become more aggressive. As you, as you see, the genetics I have, they're not. They're flying all around me. Nobody's getting stung. Genetics plays a major role, but some of you folks, your bees will get aggressive. Once they get aggressive, it's all over. You're just going to have to deal with it. Animals come by. Everybody's looking for a free meal. You're going to start having more problems with roaches, with ants, with wasps, hornets. Yellow jackets are going to start becoming a big problem here next month. That can make a hive even matter. Just, just some points of what the heat really does to the hive. Anything that stresses your hive can cause them to abscond. It just depends on what the tipping point is. Whether it's a small patch of small hive beetles, three frames of small hive beetles, black moth on one frame or three frames. If you've got small hive beetles or wax moth taking over, that's the secondary effect. You've missed something somewhere when it gets to that point. They're just a cleanup crew and the, how do you say, uh, opportunistic feeders the small hive beetles are. Many, many different diseases can cause aggression, can cause them to leave, but a lot of times right now you'll have a lot of hives abscond without proper ventilation, without proper water, because there is basically no nectar source going on right now, very little pollen, so they're relying on what's in the hive and what little bit they can find out out there. Some breeds of bees rob more than others. Just a little quick video. Hope you liked the video. Hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to get a notification, hit the bell. I appreciate you watching. You have a great day.